welcome to the news. My name is Talking Tom. I am your journalistic reporter type cat. And today's news report is brought to you directly from the Tory party conference. Shite with all that malarkey. I can't keep that up. Anyway, if you didn't understand it, tough titties. Talking Tom is and always will be a Geordie reporter type cat. So, I hear you say, what they've been up to, what they've been talking about, what they've been discussing, what shite have they been spouting from that little pulpit in the middle of the stage in Birmingham. Well, here goes. I tell you this for nothing, they've certainly been on form. As the Conservatives arrived in Birmingham, they were not only met with placards dissing their shitty achievements, but also a huge demonstration with thousands of people telling them just what they thought about them. It's not just human beings that the Conservative Party have managed to offend, annoy and upset over the course of the last two years. Even the zombies attended the demonstration. Zombies, I tell you! And billboards. I am rather impressed with this example, which the Tories met as they reached the station. As a socialist journalist reporter type cat, it was that time that I had dreaded. That time every year when I, as a reporter doing my job, had to set foot inside their fucking conference hall. The millionaires gathered. They came together in all their designer suits and fancy shoes. The women looked like their hairstyles had come straight from that salon in Coronation Street with Audrey doing funny granny sets and stuff. Eric Pickles decided to talk about cigar chomping commies. George Fuckface Osborne outlined that they would never introduce a bloody tax on the millionaire's mansion and the likes of Ian Duncan shit opened his mouth and spouted pure venomous bile. The Prime Minister found it rather difficult to hide his frustration and his thoughts as the Mayor of London, Boris Johnson, entered the hall to rapturous applause. Good morning, good morning everybody. Well, thank you Gavin for that magnificently hyperbolical uh, introduction. Uh, where is Dave? Where? There. There you are, Dave. I was pleased. I was pleased. I was pleased to see that you, you've called me a blonde-haired mop in the pages of the... Uh, well, I'm a mop, is what I am. Well, if I'm a mop, they, then you are a broom. A broom that is cleaning up the mess left by the Labour government, and a fantastic job uh, you are doing. And I thank you, and I congratulate you, and, uh, and your colleagues, and your colleagues, George Osborne, the dustpan, Michael Gove, the J-cloth, uh, William Hague, the sponge. Uh, because it is, the, it is the historic function of Conservative governments over the last hundred years to be the household implements. So when, they watch, when they watch Gangnam style on their televisions in Korea, as they do. And by Gangnam style, it's very good. The Prime Minister and I danced Gangnam style the other day. You, you, you'll be shocked to discover. And maybe one of those interfering nosy bastard journalistic reporter type people have got a big fuck off long lens and I captured this. Are you ready for this? No, it's terrible. Open Gangnam Style.
Hello to everybody around the world. I'm William Haig. I'm the British Foreign Secretary. I could not be Prime Minister. I'm not equipped to be Prime Minister. I don't want to be Prime Minister. What I'm saying is that it's not fair to ask other families to work hard to pay benefits that are actually going to give someone more than the average income through living on benefits. That doesn't seem to be fair and, and th that's part of the fairness story. Two years into office, I insisted on a cap on benefits. It spoke of our values. We're all in this together. And can you believe it? Labour voted against that. And we gave up. Phony conception of fairness on the backs of the poor. It's that time of the year again when the chairman of the party has an opportunity to first of all thank you for all the great work that you've done this year. Myself and everyone at the party appreciates the huge amount of time, effort and energy that you give to Conservative campaigns. We're here in Birmingham for the Conservative Party conference. I'd like to take this opportunity to say very clearly to any pensioner in the audience, anyone listening at home, that we will keep the pension credit, we'll keep the winter fuel allowance, we'll keep the free bus pass, Pure and simple lies. Pure and simple lies. Pure and simple lies. Then it's all just a little bit of history. Open Gangnam Style. Gangnam Style. 낮에는 따사로운 인간적인 여자. 커피 한 잔의 여유를 아는 품격 있는 여자. 밤이 오면 심장이 뜨거워지는 여자. 그런 반전 있는 여자. Gangnam Style Gangnam Style Oh